Hey, I'm Starfax. I recently made an Ultimate Iron Man and something I learned watching quest guides, they're not made for Iron Man. So this is the Iron Man quest guide. Hey guys, Starfax here with another Iron Man quest guide. So today we're going to be completing Romeo and Juliet. It is a free to play quest. There are no quest requirements or items needed for the quest. The only thing you will need is a Kadava Berry, which is obtainable during the quest, and I will show you how to get that and when to get that. So where we're going to be starting is here in the Varrock Square. We're going to need to speak to Romeo. He is this gentleman blowing hearts. So speak to him. Hold down spacebar. Select option one. Yes, you've seen her. Option one. Yes, you'll let her know. And from here, we're going to run west of the Varrock Square. We're going to head towards Juliet's house on the west side of Varrock. So, when we go upstairs and speak to her, we're going to need to select option 1 and then 1 again. So, speak to Juliet. She's in the pink out here on the balcony. Hold down spacebar to skip through the dialogue. She'll give you the message. Okay, from here, now we're going to need to return to Romeo in the Varrock Square. So, climb down the stairs, run east back towards the Varrock Square. Speak to Romeo once you arrive. You'll give her the message. He'll ask you to go speak to Father Lawrence, who is in the Varrock Church on the northeast side of the Varrock Square. So simply just follow this route. We'll run up here, just past the Varrock Museum here. There's going to be a short cutscene when we speak to Father Lawrence. He is the gentleman dressed in black. Just hold down spacebar. It's a little cutscene of everyone sleeping in church, because no one cares what this guy has to say. Continue to skip through the dialogue. He's going to tell you that you need to make a potion. So from here, this is where we will go ahead and get the Kadava Berry. So we're going to run south of the church, and we will exit out the east side of Varrock and head down to the Varrock East Mine. Um, just by the Varrock East Mine is where the Kadava Berry Bushes will be, and I'll see you there. Make sure you wave to all the bots as you're running by, and simply walk over here, pick a Kadava Bush, it is the ones with the pink berries on them and you will have a Kadapa Berry in your inventory. Now we're going to need to run to the Apothecary on the south side of Varrock Square, and I will see you there. Now if you're a low level side note, uh, do not run by these wizards because they can easily damage you out and kill you. So you will need to run around the perimeter of the altar here. Oh. All right. So once you've made it to the safety of the Varrock guards, just run a little bit north of them, and the apothecary shop will be right up here on our left. So the apothecary shop's right here. It is the little purple potion symbol on the map, so we'll just need to go inside and speak to the apothecary. Simply hold down spacebar, select option 2, select option 1, and he will make you the Kadava potion. And it is in your inventory now. 
So from here, you're gonna go give the potion to Juliet. Just simply run back to Juliet's house, exit north of the apothecary, run a little bit west to the gate, and her house will be directly west of that. Open the door. Again, we're gonna proceed up to the second floor. Out on the balcony. and speak to Juliet for the last time. Simply hold down spacebar, skip through all the dialogue, and it will begin a cutscene. Hold down spacebar through the cutscene. She drinks the potion. She fake dies. Her hot redhead sister says she'll help out. Okay. So from here, we will need to go to Romeo and tell him to meet Juliet down in the crypt. So simply run back east down to the Varrock Square. Speak to the main man, Romeo, right here. Hold down spacebar. And this is the final cutscene down in the crypt. There's poor old Juliet, fake dead. Hold down spacebar to cut through the cutscenes. And that will be quest completed for Romeo and Juliet. You're awarded with five quest points and nothing else. Thanks for watching.